Hi all, welcome to the next in the series Understanding and Using Excel. This time I'd like to present to you a beginner's guide to how Excel handles functions and particularly how it handles brackets where I can have uh, brackets within brackets. Let's see how it works. All functions start with an equal sign. A function is simply a pre-written formula. Following the equal sign will be the name of the function for example, sum, if VLOOKUP, whatever. Immediately following the name of the function is an opening bracket. Following the opening bracket are what we call arguments. Arguments are separated by commas. Some functions require one or more arguments, while some functions don't require any, as we'll see. The last argument is followed by a closing bracket and the opening and the closing brackets must balance. We'll see an example of that down here in uh, row 28 in the example. Here are some common functions, uh, sum, if, v, look up and today. Let's take them in turn. The sum function requires at least one argument. That is, it must have two or more cells that it can add together, but it can have up to 256 arguments, so it can be quite powerful. An example would be Add for me what is in A5 to D7, inclusive, the colon means inclusive, so there is uh, one argument. It could also be written equal sum A5 to D7, comma, because the second argument is add to those numbers what is in F4, comma, the third argument is add 100 to each of those arguments and there is a closing bracket. So one closing bracket, one opening bracket. If requires at least three arguments, never more, never less. The way it works is here. It does a test equals if open a bracket. A3 is greater than 100, comma. The second argument I want to see text the word the word OK in double quotes because I want a text result. But if that's not true, show me what is in cell D6. VLOOKUP requires at least three arguments but can have four. Equal VLOOKUP, the first argument is the cell in which I type a question. D4 to F7 uh, hold the question and the answers to the question. Uh, there is a VLOOKUP uh, um, demonstration uh, on this channel. You can easily see how it works. And then show me the result which is in the third column. That is in column F. That's the three argument VLOOKUP, but it can have four. The word FALSE is the fourth argument, which means stop at the first exact, exact match. If I don't use the word FALSE, then the data needs to be sorted in ascending order. Another common function is the TODAY function. It's one of those functions that doesn't require any arguments, but it must have opening and closing brackets. There is an example. When I type that formula into a cell, or that function into a cell, and press enter, I will see that the uh, uh, cell will contain the day, the date from the computer's clock. Note that the arguments are separated by commas. Here are some examples of brackets within brackets. This is where I can unleash the power of Excel. The first example is the, we'll use an if statement. And we're saying equals if, and open a bracket. And then the next uh, uh, function is a sum function. This is the first argu argument. I say if A5 to A8 is greater than 10, then show me the word approved. But if that's not the case, show me the word declined. So the first argument is a test, comma, the test, the result if the test is true, comma, or the result if the test is false. So Excel performs its operation and always does so on the innermost brackets first. So it's looking at that set of brackets there. In the example above, it will handle that sum function, then it will move outside to the if function. Note that because the if function is being used, the first argument is the sum function, 
The second argument is what to show if the test is true. The third argument is what be shown if the test is not true, that is, it is false. Because the text results required, again reminding you the text is enclosed in double quotes. Let's look at another one. The sum function. I want to add what is in D4 to what is in F5. Then look at the average of what is in G4 to G6 and add that average to those two cells. And finally, add what is in H15. In this case, I had to add an extra closing bracket so that I could balance the opening brackets. There are one, two, three opening brackets and one, two, three closing brackets. So that's given you an idea of, of how functions are constructed, how they require certain arguments, and in following uh, lessons uh, we'll be uh, using some more advanced types of uh, formulas. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and you'll be automatically notified of those extra lessons as they appear. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.